guys, how's it going? Whitestorm here, and today we're going to do some more text effects tutorial stuff. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to all you guys so much for uh, all the support on my last tutorial video. Um, and also, this is a very special day because I've got past 50 subscribers, um, so we're doing very well. Um, we've also got over 10,000 views on the channel, which is also fantastic. Um, so today, I was asked by... Uh, Walter Butler that he doesn't really understand how keyframes work or how to move text so I thought I put together this little piece to help out so if I just go to here here you can see what we've got is um, very very similar to our last video I've added a circle I've added a background here and our normal text and what you can do very simply is make it move around. So the first thing that I did is I, I just downloaded a circle that I liked with a transparent background or .png and I added a keyframe to it. So the first keyframe is here at the very beginning and you need to make sure that that stays there. You can add keyframes by the, the create uh, keyframe button and then at the end of the video I chose about four seconds I added another keyframe and if I just quickly delete that one there's no keyframe there there's no movement so if I add a keyframe there and I turn him all the way around you'll see it moves when I drag the timeline now it's important to remember what keyframes actually are think of them as something that you want to happen in a point in time and if I go back here you can see what we've created is a rotating revolving background um, the way that I've placed the background video into the text is literally with the multiply mask button that we spoke about last time so if I just click on there you can see that all we've got is what a, kind of a background that I've been using quite a lot recently is it's just a, a moving motion kind of background a loop video and that's exactly the same uh, videos as what I got before on the last um, tutorial that I did and it's just this free loop video uh, called vibrant there's tons of others on this uh, this web page and last time I said .co and I thought it was, should have been .com it isn't it is definitely .co and if you want to keep that video you can go to a site called keepvid.com simply copy the go to YouTube here on this video for instance pause that there copy that go to keepvid paste it in here click on download and it will give you all the options of which you may want to download it so I just right click here save link as and save it. I'm not going to save it because I've already got a good version of that. So I'm going to minimize that and go back here. So you might have noticed that I've got some little extra text effects that I've done on the actual text. And if I cancel that, I put in f uh, six different keyframes here for an event to happen. And that's literally what I did is I added every about 10 seconds or so a keyframe the first keyframe that I added of, apart from the original keyframe is this one where the text seems to grow and all I did basically was zoom in a little bit so if we press play As you can see, I've, or I've adjusted it because I actually, by doing that, added an extra keyframe, which I didn't really want to do. So just delete that. <laughs> and and you, all you need to do really to make something fun, for instance, with the background I just made it spin around, you can add one keyframe and just have it spinning and rotating in one direction. Um, a common one I've seen is a sunshine or a smiley face in a circle and then somebody's put a picture on top of that 
um, with the, the spikes coming out, the, the sun rays. And you can have the sun rays twirling one way and the sunshine twirling the other, or static. Um, so, this is what we've created. In fact, I'll make that so you can see that better. So you might also be wondering how did I get that, that effect behind the text, that 3D effect. Um, if I just open up the text edit generated media, um, all I've done is I've added some of the extras on here. So um, shadow colour here, you can change it to anything you like. Some a bit more garish than others, that's a good one I think make it stronger I think there that one seems to make it look like it's floating which is really good bring that back and we'll play it on the big screen one more time that's a lot better than what I had it I had it as the light blue before to make it kind of ne a neon kind of style effect but there we've got a shadow effect um, that seems to work well because of the colours behind it. So I think what we're going to do... See now it doesn't work because it's a different colour behind it. But there we go. Anyway guys, I hope you, you um, enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Um, some of the reasons why I would have a, a motion text effects style tutorial is it's the first impression that you have when you have a video. It's um, the first thing that any person sees. So it's the first thing they remember. It's the first thing that they um, kind of... It's like a job interview. Imagine it's a job interview and, and you have a really sexy, fantastic looking text effects tutorial, like style tutorial or something and you want to put a really really great text effects at the beginning to show what you can do that's that's the idea behind it so like I've said before um, but adding animation it's great for intros and it's also great for outros um, I'm gonna place my outro at the end of this for instance and it's gonna have um, thanks for watching and the text is going to be animated um, so that you yeah, it draws your eye it brings attention to it so um, anyway guys, I'm going to leave you there. Thanks for watching. Uh, do remember to leave some thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye bye.